Volvo EX90 prices are already higher than expected. Hey EV lovers, welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. The long-awaited Volvo EX90 has become more expensive and might be later to customers than expected, despite already being delayed. The long-awaited Volvo EX90 has become more expensive and might be delivered to customers later than expected despite being delayed by a year. The manufacturer quietly increased prices across the Volvo EX90 lineup by $3,300, or over 4%, compared to the initial prices announced in November 2023. The model started at an MSRP of $76,695, but now it's $79,995. The destination charge of $1,295 is the same. There are two trim levels, plus an ultra, two powertrain options, twin motor and twin motor performance, and two seat layouts, six or seven seat, for a total of eight main versions. Their prices vary from $79,995 to $89,845, excluding a $1,295 destination charge. The luxurious 2021 Genesis GV80 is an SUV you have to see to believe. Production of the Volvo EX90 started in June outside Charleston, South Carolina, but there is no info on whether the model will qualify for the $7,500 federal tax credit. After the recent price increase, only the base version remained under the $80,000 price cap. The 2025 Volvo EX90 lineup offers various configurations with different base prices and destination charges. For the seven-seat AWD 20-inch TM Plus model, the base price is $79,995, and with a destination charge of $1,295, the effective price is $81,290. The 6-seat AWD 20-inch TM Plus model has a base price of $80,495, resulting in an effective price of $81,790. Moving up, the 7-seat AWD 21-inch TM Ultra model starts at $84,345, with an effective price of $85,640, while the 6 seat AWD 21-inch TM Ultra model is priced at $84,845, making the effective price $86,140. For performance-oriented options, the 7 seat AWD 20-inch TM Performance Plus model has a base price of $84,995 and an effective price of $86,290. The 6-seat AWD 20-inch TM Performance Plus model is slightly higher at $85,495, resulting in an effective price of $86,790. Lastly, the 7-seat AWD 21-inch TM Performance Ultra model shares the same base and effective prices as the TM Ultra at $84,345 and $85,640 respectively. The 6-seat AWD 21-inch TM Performance Ultra model tops the range with a base price of $89,845, leading to an effective price of $91,140. Delivery time and missing features. Volvo's online configurator indicates that the estimated delivery time might be as high as eight months. In the best case scenario, it will be four months, estimated delivery four to eight months. It's believed that the time will depend on the selected version and options. The website explains, Please note that ventilated Nordico is expected to be delivered towards the latter part of the estimated delivery time above. The bad news does not end here because we know about the missing safety and convenience features at launch. The missing features might be cross-traffic alert, curve speed assist, wireless Apple CarPlay, and bidirectional charging. The full functionality of the LiDAR system also is not yet ready. A software update should add these features in the future. According to the previous report, one of the most interesting things is that the initial batch of cars might lose about 3% of their battery charge per day when parked and not charged. That's because the car's core computer is running in the background all the time, at least for the first 72 hours after a stop, to control its highly advanced functions. It will be addressed by a software update, but it's an issue for now. Range Estimates Initially, Volvo said the EX90 would have about 300 miles of range. That's a solid result for a three-row SUV. The battery stores 111 kilowatt hours of energy, 107 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. According to the company's website, 
The Plus trim is now expected to get 296 miles of range, while the Ultra trim is expected to get 308 miles. These are not EPA-estimated results yet. The most surprising thing is that the Ultra has a higher estimated range, despite it being equipped with larger 21-inch wheels. Another thing is that the range estimate does not change when selecting the performance powertrain option. It suggests that the two are the same with only a software limit on the base one. The 2025 Volvo EX90 offers a range of models, all featuring all-wheel drive, AWD, and a 111 kilowatt hour battery. The TM Plus models, available in both 7-seat and 6-seat configurations with 20-inch wheels, have an estimated EPA range of 296 miles. These models can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds and reach a top speed of 112 miles per hour. The TM Ultra models, available with either 21-inch wheels and in both 7-seat and 6-seat configurations, have a slightly improved estimated EPA range of 308 miles. They also share the same 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time of 5.7 seconds and a top speed of 112 miles per hour. For those seeking higher performance, the TM Performance Plus models, also available in both 7-seat and 6-seat configurations with 20-inch wheels, maintain the same EPA range of 296 miles. However, they offer quicker acceleration, reaching 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.7 seconds, while maintaining the top speed of 112 miles per hour. Finally, the TM Performance Ultra models, with 21-inch wheels and available in both seating configurations, provide the best performance in the lineup, combining an estimated EPA range of 308 miles with the same 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 4.7 seconds and a top speed of 112 miles per hour. Asterisk range estimate according to Volvo. Overall, the Volvo EX90 market launch is disappointing. Automotive News noted that the higher prices, delays, long wait times, and missing features at the launch might trigger order cancellations. Customers might start looking for other options, seeking a Rivian R1S, Tesla Model X, Kia EV9, or something from German brands. The article says, Volvo told dealers about 5% of the vehicles, more than 10,000 U.S. pre-orders, have been canceled because of the delay. At the same time, one Volvo retailer noted a 40% cut in reservations, according to the report. That's it for today's episode of EVpedia. If you had fun, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give us a super thanks to support our channel. Thanks for watching and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.